What's up, gig fam? First of all, I'd really like to say thank you for clicking on this video. Um, based on the title, you already know what I'm gonna talk about. A lot of it has to do with the Para app and how it has went down, um, you know, in the last week or so. Uh, <clears throat> I was able to use Para a little bit after everybody was saying it was going. It went down. I basically just uh, uninstalled and reinstalled it on my phone, and it seemed to work for a couple of days. But then it started to crash again. Uh, Para, like the company, has actually put a video out. It's a couple minutes long, uh, basically saying that they are working on things. They're trying to fix it. DoorDash basically caught on and switched the way they were sending tips out or the way they were sending the orders out. So basically DoorDash has changed uh, the way they send the tip out to you. So basically they just give you a number uh, and then, you know, they know how much you're gonna make. So they give you a number and then once you get to the restaurant or once you pick the food up, then the app gets the amount of tip uh, added in or some, something like that. So it's screwed uh, Para up. So Para says they're gonna try to predict predict the uh, amount of tip based on some information I don't know how the algorithms work with that I don't I don't develop apps I, I don't know um, it really sucks though because tip transparency is the most important thing uh, so I really hope that para is able to fix the problem do I think that they're gonna be able to fix it I do not um, I think that the par app is done uh, I don't think that we'll be seeing any fixes. I mean, I could be wrong, but at this point, I just think it is wishful thinking. Um, DoorDash caught on, you know? So, I mean, is it? it's not even worth it anymore for you, know, to, you to even attempt to run Para. So, if you run Para, it'll still tell you, <clears throat> it'll tell you exactly, basically, whatever you get from DoorDash, whatever they send out to your phone is what par is going to tell you so i mean you can try it but it's not going to it's not going to give you an accurate tip uh tip transparency this brings me to my next thing doordash um as a company has really screwed over its drivers they do not care about us i'm a i i used to think and say that they did care about the drivers a little bit but <clears throat> the direction that that company is moving they don't care about us all they care about is money their company is money motivated. They care about their customers who order DoorDash. If you've watched my uh, vlogs for a minute, you'll know that I actually ordered DoorDash a few weeks ago, um, some pizza. Basically, I didn't get a drink, so I contacted support. I asked them to just, just refund me the $3 or whatever it was for the drink. Um, they ended up giving me they told me they could either refund me the whole amount or credit the whole amount to my account. So I basically got a free meal out of it, um, which is kind of messed up. It's good customer service on that end, I guess, but it, it, you know, it, it just reaffirms my stance of they do not care about us as drivers. Um, all they care about is money. So, and the people spending the money on the app. So we're not spending the money. We're trying to make them money. That's basically we're cattle for slaughter for them. They don't care. They will keep hiring drivers who are going to take $3 orders, $2.50 orders over and over again and screw everybody else. If we don't like it, we can quit or they will kick us off the app. They'll deactivate us. I don't fully understand why people keep taking these bad orders over and over again, especially in my market, you know, because I dash in the Greenville, South Carolina market. Um, a lot of people that I see day to day that I know from dashing and talking to at different restaurants all the time uh, there's a couple people in particular that tell me they will take any order that they get they take every single order they get doesn't matter what the payout is doesn't matter what the distance is they're gonna take it because they want to keep top dasher on their profile uh, that is that's the worst thing I've ever heard top dasher doesn't mean shit anymore uh, basically I, I, I just don't understand it um, I don't understand why you would do that to yourself. You're losing your money. You're losing time. Uh, your car is taking a hit. Your gas prices are up. I mean, there's so many reasons why we should not be taking these orders. It'd be great if everybody could get on the same page and boycott DoorDash for a, a little while and only use Uber Eats or Grubhub or other 
uh, gig economy jobs. I mean, it sounds great. I see people talking about this all the time and they always talk about us coming together as dashers and bo like basically boycotting DoorDash for a certain amount of time. While this sounds good in theory, it will never work because if you think about how many dashers are on the road, you will never be able to get everybody to agree. Some people are defending DoorDash and what they're doing, such as Bentley Coop. He's basically brainwashed by DoorDash, if you ask me. So uh, I'm not trying to call him out. I'm just saying like he's going to always take DoorDash's side no matter what. Um, I'm a realist, so I, I see things for what they are. I think DoorDash as a company has gone so far down that is it even worth everybody working for them anymore? So in the summertime, you have a lot of teachers, a lot of college students that normally do not work other times in the year because of those their jobs and their commitment to school that are now on the road a lot more trying to make extra income in the summer, which is, you know, it's great. Everybody, I, I am an advocate of everybody, you know, these companies are for everybody. But with it being summertime, the amount of people actually ordering from DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all the other apps has gone down because more people are on vacation, eating out actually inside restaurants with COVID restrictions pretty much gone or easing in certain areas where they were stricter. Uh, people are, are back out, they're, they're wanting to do more things. So yes, I mean, the gig economy is gonna take a hit. Uh, I hope it comes back. Another thing that I wanted to touch on today uh, you know when DoorDash sends out their monthly DoorDash uh, digest or the week, however, however often it comes out, every couple weeks or, or every month or so, uh, you always see like they have a Dasher spotlight. You always see a certain Dasher on there talking about how basically like the reason I Dash is to help people, the reason I Dash is, uh, you know, I, I saw <clears throat> older people in my community or that couldn't get you know the things they needed during COVID blah 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 like those are great reasons but I'm gonna be honest with you and real right now the number one reason why people dash is to make money that is number one I touched on this yesterday in my video I'm gonna touch on it again people might have other reasons why they dash like those which are, are amazing Yes, helping people is amazing. It is a, it's, it's a wonderful thing. But the primary reason people are doing this is to make income. Bringing money to them so they can live and spend the way they want to. That's the number one reason. If anybody tells you that's not their number one reason or motivation to work for DoorDash or other gig companies, they're lying to you. It's as simple as that. Uh, you know, I think that it is very important for people to help other people and give back when they can or you know do small small deeds you know for other people you know just be kind and courteous that's great but the number one motivator is money we need money and it almost feels like DoorDash is stealing money from us when they lower our base pay by 50 cents or a dollar or it's it's market based so when they take 50 cents from us we're used to getting three dollar base pay now we're getting $2.50 base pay. They say, oh, but if you go on a longer mile, over five to seven miles, we're gonna give you more. Basically, what they're doing is taking money from one order or multiple orders if you only do short distance orders and maybe one or two orders down the road that you might take on a long distance and giving it to you then. It's, it's complete BS. I hate it. <laughs> DoorDash does not care about us. All they care about is money and the customers that make them money. That is it. We also make them money, but basically they will keep hiring anybody and everybody as they deactivate and fire and people quit. It's like an endless vicious circle that they have going on. Uh, now you can get into like the legality stuff and is it legal that they're hiding tips and not telling us things and certain things about how far of a distance we're gonna have to go or they tell us how far we're gonna go but like the money based on the distance like basically they can get away with it from what I understand because they say you could make more on this offer this is what you're gonna make but it could be more so you know I, I'm not a lawyer I don't know but that is just something I've noticed um, so it's really crappy as to everybody out there that 
you know, was using the Para app and now they can't, you know, I, I've used it. I used it for a few weeks before it went down. It was great. Um, you know, most of the orders, I'd say like 75% of the orders were still crap orders with no tips or very low tips. Um, but the other 25% was tips that were, you know, hidden. So essentially it, you know, Para provided a service for us to, you know, see our tip transparency to see our tips um, and really know how much we were gonna make all together, which is what DoorDash should do. Um, it's just a really crappy thing that they don't. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm thinking really hard about quitting DoorDash, but if I do, then I know I'm gonna take a big hit and I won't be able to make as much as I normally do, which has gone down significantly. I'm used to making, you know, over $200 a day. $250 a day was like a pretty decent day for me. A not so decent day for me would have been closer to 200. And then on the great days, I was making over 300 a day. You know, anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 a week, depending on, uh, not 15, let's say like 1,350. 1,000 to 1,350, sometimes 1,500, depending on, um, you know, the days. Even on a Tuesday, Tuesday I can make 220 bucks and, you know, eight hours seven hours and now if i work eight hours i'm lucky if i make 150 dollars it sucks um <clears throat> so hopefully you know more people start ordering again and hopefully doordash fixes these issues i really wish that they would act they say they listen to dashers and they say they they want our input and listen to us but at the end of the day i feel like they don't so um <laughs> i'm sorry if i rambled guys in today's video uh i mean I, I, I do that anyway. I ramble. I jump from topic to topic. You already know that, but uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment, share, uh, whatever. Um, as always, wear your seatbelts, stay safe on the road, and I will see you all in the next video.